What I'm going to show you today is how to change the doors of a Wren kitchen. So I'll be changing all of these doors and the drawer fronts and also the front of this unit here. Um, you can see the reason I'm doing this is because the cover is coming off the actual wood of the doors. Um, so the adhesive isn't holding it anymore. Um, but thankfully, because it was still under warranty, I've just got the doors replaced. Um, but because it is now a slightly different shade of white or cream, I'm going to have to replace everything. So that includes these side panels here. But I'm actually going to leave this for now and the side panels here because this is a much bigger job because I'm going to have to take this worktop, lift it up, break the seal and lift it up. So for now, I'm just going to change the doors because the doors are really the only problem that I have at the minute, even though I do think that the side panels will go the same. So I'm just going to show you how to change these doors very, very easily. So just opening this one, it's very simple. So you've got this hinge here and hinge here. And all you do is you, there is a little catch at the back and you just clip that or pull it towards you and that will unhook. And then we do the same at the bottom and then the door just comes off. Um, I'm going to have to turn the video off for this because I need my both hands to hold the door and then I will just show you how to put the hinges back onto the new door and also to position the handle as well. So the door is off and as you can see I have taken off the handle and I've also taken off the hinges, just basically two screws, very, very simple. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I have this drilling guide that I was recommended to get. But when I line it up here, the holes don't exactly line up to any of them. Um, so my first suggestion was to make my own guide, which then I was advised not to, but I'm going to. So all I'm going to do is get a piece of paper. I'm going to line it up to the corner and then feel for the holes and then just push a pencil through and that will be my marker. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so there, these are my two holes and it should be square with the corner of this door. Um, and even if it's like a mill or two out, it really shouldn't matter. Um, so when I do put this onto the new door, I will do it flat, but also I'm going to drill from this side, from the front of the door, uh, because when you do, drill through, just in case, I do take a little bit of the covering off and you want that to be on the inside rather than the outside. This will all get covered by the screw head anyway. So then moving on to the other side where I took the hinges from here, these hinges just fit in very nicely and then you just screw them in. But as you can see, we have some like dowel things i'm not sure what we call them um i'm not going to remove these because when i was sent the new door we i was given some new ones um hinge dials they're called i can see it here um so i'm gonna have push those in to the new door here push those in and then i should just be able to screw the hinge in pretty easily so I've put this new door on my worktop and I'm going to line up my template onto the door and mark on where my holes should be. 
So once I've done that, um, I'm going to use a four mil drill bit. This one is for wood. Make sure that it's a pretty good drill bit. Hopefully you can see that, that the tip is nice and sharp. Otherwise you may ruin a little bit of the surface of the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that there. Make sure, double check and triple check, that your hinge holes are in the right place. Um, so the opposite side to where you want your door handle to be, and I have double checked, and they're under here. So my holes are marked, and I've also done a little center punch in there, just so the drill bit will sit in nicely. This design is slightly different from the original. So the handle is gonna be closer to this little dent. Um, and I wasn't sure how nice that looked because I thought it'd be nicer in the middle. However, I don't want the handle to be too close to the edge. Um, because I do want the handle to be in the same position for all of the doors and that might get in the way of some or the position of some doors so I'm going to keep it where it is um, and just keep it there so I'm going to now drill using my 4 mil drill bit uh, the holes all the way through probably not advisable to do it on your kitchen worktop but I am going to um, but just make sure that you have a gap, a clearance, so you're not going to drill through your worktop. So these are the holes drilled here. And as you can see, underneath, a little bit of the covering has come off. I don't know if I can zoom properly, but you can still see that a covering has come off here, which is why it's best to drill through from the outside. Um, and the screws will just fit nicely through there when I'm ready to put my handle on. But I'm going to attach the hinges first before I put the handle on. So I've turned this around and the next step is to install the hinge. So just to show you um, this is the little quick release here that we used to take the hinge off the door, uh, the cabinet in the first place. Uh, okay, so this fits in very nicely. It just, it's self-centered, thankfully. So it just fits in like so. But to attach that, you need to have your hinge dowels. So these, these dowels that I got with the new kitchen doors are quite different from the ones that were on the original one. Um, it's tapered at the bottom end, as you can see here, to kind of guide it nicely. However, that's about it. It will not go in very easily even with hammering um, as I have tried. So the alternative, what I've done is to take one of the screws from the hinge and to hold the dowel in a pair of pliers and screw in with a screwdriver the screw just I don't know, about two, three mil. Then what I did was then hammer that into the hole. However, I still think it's too tight because it's starting to crack here, which I'm not overly happy with. So my next step is to get a 10 mil, eight mil, sorry, drill bit, which fits nicely in here but it's a little bit snug. So I'm just gonna attach that to my drill and just drill in a couple of times just to make this hole a little bit wider. And then hopefully my dowel will be able, will push in a little bit easier. Okay, so when I put the eight mil drill bit back into this hole, it's 
still didn't really fit. So I put the drill bit back in and kind of wiggled it around. Um, probably not the most professional thing to do, but give it a little bit more clearance. And now this should fit in quite nicely. So it goes in just under halfway. So I'm hoping Perfect-ish. So there it is in. So that's what I'm going to do for, I doubt I can take this one out actually, so I'll just leave that there. But that's what I'm going to do for these two holes and for probably all of the other doors in my kitchen. Okay, so now my dowels are in. Uh, I can put the hinge on. Don't worry if your dials are not flush with this because there is a bit of a recess um, underneath the hinge anyway. Um, especially because the old ones had like a, a kind of a stop anyway. Um, yeah. So we're going to place this in. Like so. This one's already got a screw in it because it didn't come out. Um, so I'm just going to loosen that a little bit. So I actually just ended up taking the whole screw out. Um, and I've also noticed actually that you do need to put these down more flush because the opening isn't as wide as the older dowels and therefore these bits here will sit on them. So I'm just going to hammer these in a little more so that they are basically flush or underneath just like the ones on the right hand side here. Okay, so these two dowels are now level or slightly under this surface. So now I'm just going to put the hinge in. That fits in quite nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to just put the screws in. I'm just gonna gently put them in place, one there and one there and I'm just going to use a screwdriver to put these in you can use a drill um, but they're quite small so I don't really think there's that much extra energy going into just screwdriver and also if these are quite tight to go in I don't want to use a drill because it might strip the head of this which I have done too many times in the past Okay, so these screwed in pretty easily. Um, and this one, however, I did have trouble, which is, I should have mentioned at the start, when I used the 8mm drill bit to make the hole a little bit bigger, you really only make, want to make it like oh, microns bigger, really. Um, and I went a bit too big. So when I put my screw in, the dowel, it didn't come out. It was still tight enough to be in there, but it was turning. So what I had to do is just put, use the paper clip and just put a little bit of this in the side just to kind of wedge it in there. Um, so that is something I'll remember for all the other doors. But then it just fitted in very nicely. So this then can easily just be clipped back into the door. But the first thing I want to do before that is to put the handle back on. So I have turned the door around again. I'm going to take the screws that go into the handle, push them in from underneath, one there, and one there. Hopefully they'll stay still for a second. And then I'm just going to attach the handle. Okay, so the door is now ready with the handle on and the hinges on. And also you can see that the screw heads have covered any of the little bits of surface that got chipped off when I was drilling through. So all we have to do now is make sure that the hinges are closed like so. And then they will just slot into here. <clears throat> there are bars as we can see. Here, this bar will just slot into this space 
that we've seen here and it should just nicely click in i'm not gonna like look at it too much um when i'm pushing it in it'll just kind of find its own place um i'm gonna do the bottom one first and then i'll show you the top one okay so the first hinge is clicked in and then i just have to align the second hinge it's quite difficult to do when I'm holding this phone, but I will try and do my best. So it, it literally just, you just align it, make sure that it hooks here. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then push it in like so. And that is it. So it should close nicely, a nice soft close. Hopefully. There we go. And that is the first door of my whole entire kitchen. I have uh, made quite a few mistakes and learnt quite a lot from this. So um, I'll be able to do the other ones a little bit better. Um, at the end, I will go round because I can see that this is a bit high. I will go round and adjust these screws um, to make the height of the door kind of look a wee bit better, really. Okay, so this door is a little bit different because it's got one of those, like, pull-out cages. Um, so how the door is attached is it's only attached at one side <clears throat> with this bracket here. And very simple to take it off. I've actually already loosened these screws, hence why it's moving like that. Um, just so I can show you that they're very easy to take out. One. And then the one at the bottom. And then these hooks just slot in and the door just lifts off. So all you have to do is push this in out of the way because that's the only thing keeping it up. And then the door pulls off. So this is the back of the door when it's off. Um, there was also another little thing that slotted in here, but you just pushed it down and it came off. So what I need to do for this door is... No problem with the handle, just do the same as I did the last time, but I will need to make sure that this bracket is in the same place as this door onto the new door. Um, so I will probably make another template for that or just very carefully measure the distances between here. But apart from that, it should go on no problem um these here are clearly where the hinge guide holes were but we don't need a hinge for this door so they're just covered up there and clearly they're on the same side as the handle because they would just get in the way of this bracket here so the next door i'm going to do is the is an appliances door so this is the door you can see the covers coming off this one too, to the fridge. Um, I've loosened this already, just so I can show you how to take it off. But there are two sliders basically attached to the fridge door. And these are the only things um, really attaching the outer door to the fridge. So all you have to do is unscrew these. One. Two, and then this slider just slides off um, and then once I get the top one done exactly the same slide that off and then we've got access to this main door and it's just exactly the same as changing the other cupboard doors then